living without your home when you've had your own home for a whole lot of years and now all of a sudden you're in a totally different situation, it was not easy. MDS was there. They've got years of experience doing this. They bring the personnel, they bring the equipment, and it's all volunteers. This is where MDS goes. We're fixing up homes for people that are uninsured or underinsured, people who otherwise would not have their home repaired. We consider anybody that needs our help our neighbor. For over 70 years, Mennonite Disaster Service has been restoring hope for survivors of disasters in Canada and the U.S. by organizing and equipping volunteers to rebuild homes. Historically rooted in a desire to put their faith into action, members of Anabaptist Peace Churches embrace a philosophy of helping your neighbor in times of need. So, what began as individual churches mobilizing volunteers to help communities struck by disaster grew into a grassroots network that became MDS, Responding, Rebuilding, Restoring. I have appreciated so much the spirit of people who have come here to do this work. It's like giving them a big hug when you don't know what to say. You can come in and help fix their house. You could be painting, you could be framing, putting up drywall. Cabinets, plumbing, flooring. Knowing that you're a part of something bigger than just, than just you. You're not just talking about yourself, you're not just about yourself, but you're helping others and sharing your time with them. God's blessed me with all these people, so help me. Thank you all for being here, and what MDS has done is, is just tremendous. I mean, I couldn't ask for better workmanship, but I could ask for better people. I met special people. I really think that deep down underneath, we are all made of the same fabric, and if part of that fabric is torn and broken and bruised, we're all torn and broken and bruised. Doing work with MDS is one way of saying I'm in this with you. Over 300 people worked on my house. To me, that represents over 600 hands of love because that's what went into this house was love. All those different hands of those people who have come during that period of time, those hands have made that a sacred space. My hope is that we can get more and more people involved and more and more people committed to helping their neighbor. People who feel like they want to live up to Christ's command of helping your neighbor. And that's what MDS does. This is the most beautiful, beautiful house. I am so very thankful and very grateful. And that thanks also be to God.